Hi viewers, welcome back to Nursing Simplified. In today's video, we are going to discuss about calculation of EDD that is calculation of expected date of delivery. Okay, you can also say as expected date of confinement that is EDC. Okay, so the normal or the very frequently used formula is the Nagel's formula. So here this rule is uh, practiced from 1812. According to this Nagel's rule, the formula is you have to calculate the LMP plus 9 months plus 7 days. Okay. So, we will discuss this terminology of LMP, EDD and EDC. What is LMP? LMP is nothing but the last menstrual period. So, whenever we calculate the EDD, we are supposed to calculate from the first day of the menstrual cycle. Okay. So, your LMP begins from the first day of the menstrual cycle. So, in case if you have your regular periods, if you have your last month periods was in um, second. So, when you are getting a missed periods, you have to calculate your LMP from second only. Okay. So, that is called as the last menstrual period. Then, we have the expected date of confinement that is nothing but the expected date of delivery or when the labor is going to begin exactly. So, you can also say the expected date of confinement as the expected date of delivery. Okay? So, now the formula according to this formula LMP plus 9 months plus 7 days. So, this is the Nagel's rule to calculate EDD. So, now Again, there is another formula that is like plus 1 year minus 3 month plus 7 days. So, whatever you apply, the days and the weeks are going to come the same. So, first we will discuss about this 9 month and 7 days. So, just imagine if you want to calculate an EDD. So, imagine an LMP, any dates. Okay. So, for example, I am taking this February 4th. Usually, February 4th, like um, in the month of February, you always have this 28 days and you have little difficulty in calculating. So, I have taken this month for calculation. So, usually, uh, now you just uh, imagine February 4th is going to be the LMP of 2022. Now, you have to add 9 months plus 7 days. So, now February is the LMP date. So, you have to add 9 months that is March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October and November. So, November comes the date of delivery. So, that is November and with the date that is like with 4th you have to add 7 days. So, you have to add 7 you will get 11. Okay. So, the expected date of delivery for this mother is November 11th. So, whatever you calculate the number of days has to come 280 days okay. and the number of uh, weeks for consumption is 40 weeks. Okay. So, now again similarly if you go with the other formula that is like 1 year minus 3 month plus 7 days. Okay. So, now 1 year so imagine 2022 is the February 2022 is the LMP. So, now if you want the EDD you have to calculate plus 1 year that is like 23 3 months. So, February from February you have to minus 3 month that is like your January December and November. So, November comes again you have to add 7 days. So, you will get November 11th. So, with either of the formulas you will get November 11th as the EDD. So, now I will tell you like usually you calculate this and sometimes uh, usually uh, your examiner will ask you or otherwise like even the mother or your teacher may ask you. Now, today is the uh, July. Okay, so, today what is the date? Today is July uh, 20, just imagine. So, 20. So, today what is the gestational age for the mother? So, you have to calculate the gestational age for the mother of this day, today's. So, now you have to use your formula. So, what you have to do? You have to calculate from this month onward, that is from February you have to calculate how many days are remaining. Just imagine your February is having 28 days. So, you have to minus 4 days. So, you will have 24 days remaining in February. 
and in March 31, April 30, May 31, June 30 and July if you want to calculate it is 20. So, it has to be 20. So, till July 20th unit. So, you have to calculate from this date onwards. So, 24 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 and then June 30 and in July you have 20 days. Okay. So, till 20th you are going to calculate the date of conception for the mother. See the number of days or the number of weeks you are going to calculate. So, now just imagine. So, 6 again you have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3 is a 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. So, 166 days you have and this 166 days you have to divide it by 7. So, how much you get? 7, 2 is a 14, 2, Again, 7, 3s are 21, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So, you have 5 days. Okay. So, now the week of conception or the age of the fetus is 23 weeks plus 5 days. Okay. So, this will be the calculation. So, for all the conception, I said it is going to be 20. 280 days. So, now see till here we have calculated till today that is like till July 20th the date is going to be 23 weeks and 5 days. Suppose if you want to calculate whether this full conception is 280 days so nothing but you have to do your table like you have to draw a table like this. So, all the months you have to do and finally, you have to add all the days. So, you will get 280 days and if you divide this 280 days that is the number of weeks you will get that is one week is having 7 days. So, 280 divided by 7 you get 40 weeks. Okay. So, all your pregnancies have 280 days of conception or 40 weeks of conception. So, this is Nagel's rule. So, now you have learned the Nagel's formula to calculate the expected date of delivery. So, I have taught you how you have to calculate the expected date of delivery with 9 months and 7 days as well as plus 1 year minus 3 months plus 7 days. So, both ends up with the same EDD and I have said you all your conception is 280 days with 40 weeks of conception. Okay? And I have also taught you how you have to calculate the present day. So, today how you will calculate the gestational age of the mother. So, that also you have to remember. So, in case if you have any doubts, kindly go in the comment box and comment. So, in case if you have any clarification, send a message.